Hi guys, we're back. We're back at Kilo. Still craziness out here today, huh? Today's back day. Hey, so I almost bought an Urus yesterday, dude. Another one? Yeah. That's been your third? Yeah, they tried to talk me into it. Let me send to show you a video. Uh, can you see this? So this is a Perfamante. But I didn't, uh, I, I didn't do it. Is it, uh, what, just the faster version of the one you have? Well, it's, yeah, it's the high performance one. It's got a little wider body, but, you know, it's a three, it's like a three, like a 340 sticker, which is a lot, right? Damn, the weights feel a little heavy today. I didn't train in two days. You believe I go to California and I'm staying right down the street from Gold's Venice and I didn't even train, so. All right, so a couple warm up sets. I'm gonna do like 15 reps, get a feel for it, get a cut and a pyramid the weight up. You know what's kind of nice about being retired now, though, is I don't have to, oh, should I go any heavier, you know? That's a good thing about being, I always not, never really concern myself that much with the weight, although, like, it looked good when you were doing video or whatever else. But to be honest, I mean, as long as I was feeling it. All right, so this, this machine, for some reason, you guys use hammer machines, uh, a lot of our people out there. But this is a Techno Gem uh, piece, which, I don't know, for some reason, I like this a little better. I feel it, I feel it uh, better than the hammer strength. And I don't know if it's the handle or the angle, or maybe someone can comment and tell me why I like it better, because it's hard to explain, but it just feels more... Uh, like can get more squeeze and last. But what I like to do with these, a lot of people do one arm at a time. I still prefer to do two arms for some reason. And I'm not gonna go crazy heavy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that stretch and I'm gonna squeeze. Maybe it's the seat angle, I don't, or the pad or. All right, so I'm gonna go up a quarter though. So most everyone would go three. You know, it's funny, we never really, back in my day, it's like no tens, no quarters, you know. All plates. All plates, dude. Like you were a pussy if you, if you used tens and, uh, and quarters. So we, we had this whole thing, I oh, gotta keep using 45s, you know. All right, 45, 45 seconds rest. Yeah, so I wanted to talk a little bit about my Arnold Classic experience. And man, fans came out from all over the place. We had a huge turnout. I got, I got my award, my uh, lifetime achievement from Arnold, man. I spent a lot of time with Arnold. It was crazy. Like, I never spent so much time. You know, we breakfast together. He came to see me at the booth. Sunday seminar, so time on stage. I gave a, a speech and thanked a lot of those people. But... You guys, you guys that watch on YouTube, you know, if this bleeds over to other platforms, like you guys, I know a lot of people that follow me for a long time. I can tell you that, uh, man, uh, you don't know what that means. Like I never thought I'd get a lifetime achievement award from Arnold and voted for by all the people, right? 
And I said, you know, there was millions of people all over the world watching that, that webcast and seeing me receive that award, man. It was, it was emotional. But at the same time, like, I, I reminisced by that highlight reel that the, they put together a crazy highlight reel. Did you see it on my... It's pretty good, yeah. But, uh, you know, there's so many people I had to thank for that and still continue to thank because... You know, you guys watching this video and commenting, you know, and uh, taking a few tips from me and, you know, believing in me, man, it's, it's all we can really ask for. So, I don't know how many it was. But I mentioned Massachusetts and coming from Mass and never thinking I was gonna venture out, never thinking I had the capability to be great, uh, questioned my ability, uh, had failures, successes, you know, and then I got tired of bodybuilding and I retired. I mean, I said, oh, I can't keep improving. And then here I am more motivated than ever to train. Man, it's like, uh, you know, you, you go through phases. We all go through phases. Some days I'm more motivated than others. But, you know, I just spent a couple of days away. And uh, you come back and you're more motivated to do stuff. So, you know, I don't say I take vacations. But when I stepped out of my comfort zone for a minute and went to California and uh, didn't train for two days, now I come back and I'm super motivated to train and uh, shoot the content and keep doing it, you know? All right, so we're gonna do three sets here. Uh, you saw the first set with two. Was that the second or the third set? Third. Okay, so we're gonna, do, we're gonna do three working sets. So the one set was a feel set. And then from now forward, we'll probably go right into the sets and not have like feel sets or anything like that. So I can't even keep track. Thank God you're here, because I wouldn't be able to keep track. All right, so pullovers. All right, we're gonna do two plates on this and stay with two plates. You didn't count those, did you? You're supposed to be the counter too. Snapchat. Count, snap, Insta story, take pictures. Just let me know, bro. I'll start doing your taxes too. Not 12, not 12. All right, go up a little bit. So see cable rows, everyone's favorite. Easiest exercise in the back day. Do you do these or? Now I've done a million different handles with this. Like look at all these. They can do like this, uh, like handles like this, you know, like this, reverse grip. I used to do ropes. Lately, just focused on the, the close one just because if I thought I was training for a contest, 
and I was trying to target certain, you see a lot of guys now they're pulling up here. I've always believed in the belly button area. Shit, I used to stack weights on this. This thing's, it says 260, I don't know what that's real weight. But shoot, I used to put plates, put an extra pin and hang plates from it. Just to get more weight out of it. Or just train at a gym that had the heavier stack of this. Most won't, I will. 50, 50 years old and still doing deadlifts. All right, see what this weight feels like. All right, so I'm always gonna do a warm up at least. I'm using wrist straps like I need wrist straps. I forgot about that when Dr. Shree told me, no deadlifts today. It just shows the bodybuilder mentality, right? I thought I was even pretty smart. And then you know how you always think, oh, it's not gonna happen to me. I'm not, it's not gonna bother me. Day? No, I was good. Did I say I did or? No. No, I was fine. See? So I guess I was right. Always trust your instincts, you know what I'm saying? All right, so 225 for eight. See how this feels. See if I still got it or not. Looked too easy, didn't it? No. We know better, you know that. That was nine. That was nine, you didn't even count. Now that, what I love about these two is, dude, they win the shit out of me. So I know it's working my core. And since I don't go extremely heavy, these hard exercises are gonna stimulate a little deeper than some of the other stuff. All right, so three exercises for abs. So always when you train back, okay, when you do your back training, remember you're doing all these bent over rows, you're working obviously the back, you gotta work that core. So we're gonna even it off, okay? So the back's gonna pull, we're gonna work on the abdominals. So we do crunches, some ropes, and then we're gonna do hanging leg raises. And that's gonna help us get that whole ab wall um, so three sets, three sets, three sets, nine total sets. Uh, we're gonna counterbalance all that back work that we just did. So always, always, always on back day, we are doing ab training, okay, no matter what. So even if I trained abs yesterday, I still would have done them today, depending on what the body part is. I haven't trained in two days. So we're on our last set and uh, I'll knock out, I don't know, probably 12, 15 reps.
All right, so that is a wrap for back training. So let's see, so we did pull downs, we did rows, we did the pullover machine, uh, we did seated cable rows, we did deadlifts, and we did one-arm dumbbell rows, right? What else? Abs. And abs, but pretty, pretty solid. Uh, I think it was pretty self-explanatory because I did explain a little um, and I'm going to do a little cardio work now on the bike once I uh, take a little little uh, fuel here. But more importantly, consistency, okay? I talk about consistency all the time, and I just said that I did not train for two days when I was in California. And admittedly, I did not train when I was in Arnold Classic week a week ago. I didn't train Thursday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I can honestly tell you this is probably the most time I've taken off since the Fit for 50 in August. I've missed some days. So honestly, we all need a break once in a while. And we do miss, but I sit here and talk about training seven days a week and I never miss. And, you know, I'll go on media today and probably say how... I never miss. <coughs> so, sorry, that creatine got me. Uh, so we talk about never missing, and, and honestly, we, we all fall off a little bit. And due to good reason, right? A lot of things come into play. But I think most importantly is, you know, having the mindset where you fall off, but you fall back in rather quickly and have workouts like I did today. So I wanted to put this on film because... You know, and admit to you guys, like, I've kind of been off track a little bit, right? And that drives me absolutely crazy. Not to say I, I've done cardio and I did train, like, last week. Um, but to miss two days, you know, after having, you know, several days off last weekend, that's not of the norm for me. So I use the training as an outlet for stress, okay? And meditation or, you know, just relaxation is, you know, like I said, I don't do a lot of other activities that relieve my mind a lot. Um, I know a lot of techniques, whether you guys do ice baths or, you know, uh, you know, cryotherapy or your, um, your uh, infrared saunas or, you know, whatever your meditation is, right? I find the gym is, I guess, my meditation. And shame on me if I don't want to try new things. We all kind of are stubborn in our own ways and we kind of do what we do, right? So for me, um, I kind of stick to what I know um, and I'm very comfortable with that so uh like i said the experience at the arnold was great a lot of great tremendous feedback i'm i'm gonna do a separate video and speak from the heart on that because as you saw my speech was like uh you know basically that wasn't a rehearsed speech it was just off the cuff and that's on youtube also um a couple of videos back but i want to incentivize you guys to keep working hard at what you do okay um, I do a lot of workout programs. You know, I have a Cutler Club, which people have memberships. I have the J-Mail, uh, which is free subscription uh, newsletter that I put out every day. Uh, you know, all these channels for, you know, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I'm putting out education, and that's the best thing I can do at this point to keep people motivated and learn from, obviously, my wins and my losses, right? So I just want to keep you guys motivated, keep you guys up to date on the content. I appreciate you guys following along. If you guys have something that you want to comment or share a story with me or tell me why you watch my stuff, um, give me another reason. Give me a like, give me a comment, share the video, invite your friends to the channel, and uh, hopefully it can give someone some incentive to keep moving forward. You know, you see, I train at a gym that's pretty quiet. The people here are pretty serious, whether they're training with a trainer or they're just getting the job done. Uh, it's pretty exclusive. There's no no uh, day passes to this gym. I know a lot of people hit me up about that, but it's nice because I can film here. The music's not super loud and it's not super busy, so like I can move around and not feel like I'm invading people's space. For you know all the tripods out there and all those things that people complain about, you know, I, I just be conscious of the other people's uh, you know training and and their privacy in the gym because remember some people it's it's a huge outlet and they just want that time to themselves and. You have to understand they just don't want to have invaded privacy. So, you know, be conscious of that uh, for you guys out there doing that. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I hope I give you guys continuous motivation to keep working at it and, uh, and be real with you and realize that it's not just, uh, you know, even I fall off once in a while. And uh, I appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, uh, comment on the video, share it with your friends. And uh, we'll see you back next time for another YouTube uh, for myself and J-Mac and Jay Cutler TV. Uh, we're out for another episode. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I kept the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut.